always try to learn lessons. What worked well, what didn't work well. McMicken showed us that a clean agent type fire protection system alone is not adequate. We need something else. We need sprinklers if we're going to be in an occupiable space. And once again, we know that sprinklers don't control the thermal runaway. So all we're really doing is cooling it. Now, sprinkler water, as well as the water mist system, is really good about keeping vapors down, which is another thing that um, we're working on here in the valley with one of our battery installations. But sprinklers alone are not going to control the thermal runaway. It's going to do its thing until it's done. McMicken showed us that we need mechanical ventilation. If we had mechanical ventilation, we would not have an explosive atmosphere that we had in McMicken, and we wouldn't have hurt Hunter and his crew. We need detection. Um, right before this, I actually was teaching my inspectors about, about batteries and, and the fire code, and we watched a video of an electric vehicle in, I think it was in China, in a parking garage. And the beginning of the fire is a little wisp of white smoke. Very tough to see it. I actually have to point out. But that's early detection that we're kind of looking at right now is how can we get early detection to know that we might be having a problem with, thermal, with these um, batteries and thermal runaway. So we know we need detection. We need smoke detection and maybe need gas detection. We definitely need explosion control. This is probably the... Um, toughest one that we're debating in AFP 855 right now is explosion control. What is explosion control? What is NFP 68? What does NFP 69 say? Do we really have good explosion control for these unoccupied batteries cabinets? That's what we're trying to do right now. We know we need training, but it's not just training within the fire department, it's training from the industry training like we're doing right now, and training actually our public. Um, we recently had a um, electric vehicle fire in the city of Scottsdale. If anyone's been into the Phoenix area, Scottsdale is a pretty rich area. And a sad story, um, nobody died, but a young lady um, went to the motor vehicle division to get her learner's permit. She's 15. She gets her permit. Her dad says, congratulations, you can drive the Tesla. She puts her foot on the accelerator and hits the building right next door to the um, MVD and the, the vehicle catches fire. Got to a fire, puts out the fire. We throw it on a flatbed. The driver takes a left-hand turn on the Scottsdale Road and he goes back on the thermal runaway and he drops it in the middle of the street. When I arrived at, as part of the hazmat team, the first thing I said was we should just, just let it burn and we'll be done with this. And the chief at the time said, we cannot let this thing burn in the area that we're at. And that's something that we need to work on is better public information, better training, but also understand that every single installation is different from the next. And that's something that I've been preaching to the industry for a long time is just because you're putting one in here and it's the exact same technology, the exact same number of batteries. Every installation is different. And we'll kind of get into that here in a little bit. And one of the biggest things that I'm doing right now is talking about creating partnerships. And it's not just the battery industry. It's every industry out there is creating partnerships with your AHJ, creating partnerships amongst yourselves to have a better idea of what's going on and being 100% transparent. Um, the earlier that you guys come to us to say that, hey, we're thinking of putting this battery in or we're going to might do this battery technology, the better it is for everybody. Because we create those partnerships, we start to know each other, and we start to create trust and really good working relationships early in the process. Because the worst thing is the first time that I meet somebody is when they're submitting plans for a battery system. That is way too far in the game. And then everybody gets mad because now I am slowing up the process because I don't know anything about this battery system and it takes a lot, a lot of time and a lot of effort to go through the HMAs and the different technical data that's part of the installation. So we need to create these partnerships. I was at a conference talking about batteries and after the conference, after I spoke, they came up to me and they're like, wow, they really brought an HJ to the conference. I didn't think they'd do that. 
like we're some bad person that shouldn't be there or, you know, we're the bad guys. We're not the bad guys. We shouldn't be the bad guys. Those days should be long gone. We're partners. We all have a boss and these installations need to be installed. We just need to do it together and make them safe. So that's the number one goal.